From the Bob Mills Weather Center, the Oklahoma weather expert, Travis Meyer. There has been a lot of active weather, especially with these shelf clouds, and you see how this linear look to it. This was, I mean, there, it was so photogenic. Too bad it had to cause severe weather and hail and everything else. Uh, most of this was associated with wind. This was up in Oshalata. That's halfway between Bartlesville and Tulsa on Highway 75 or just off 75. Kyle took that picture and we ended up with quite a few great pictures. This was not a good picture from Fort Gibson Lake. Gina sent this in. One of her big trees blew over with over 60 mile an hour wind gusts as those storms continued to track just off to the east and southeast of Tulsa. Now, as those storms marched to the southeast, they kind of died out. Then we had a few storms out west. Now tonight there's a few areas that have isolated storms just isn't too much going on but they're coming from the northwest headed southeast and our biggest thing that we're most concerned with as we look forward tomorrow's heat index values are going to be terrible and again that's back up to levels which will happen this time of year so it's not like the end of the world but if you don't have air conditioning or you're not prepared for this again it's another rough day across the area and that's why we want you to be aware excessive heat warnings in effect from Tulsa County Okmulgee County then back along the Arkansas River right back on th into Arkansas the rest of us have heat advisors which it's worse in the magenta color but it's still bad all across the area because it's going to be rough. The only good thing is that uh, kind of causes the problem because of the humidity values is the rainfall pretty much widespread. Not everybody's picked up a lot of rain, but we have picked up uh, multiple locations, picked up a lot of water. Therefore, the vegetation is green and that enhances our chances of getting into a little bit more heat trouble with humidity. But the good news is, as we were mentioning at the top of the newscast, Bartlesville, you got to be smiling right now. And uh, so the Hewlett watershed area ended up being pretty good sh shape from Chautauqua County. But notice there's a few pockets here that really kind of missed out. And that's over in Montgomery County, just to the north and east of Caney, Kansas. So there's a few areas that haven't had a lot, and especially around the Copan watershed. So Copan is still, that's why it's still five feet below normal. And as we start to march forward here, we're looking at a ridge of high pressure taking over. So that's going to get us really hot for the next couple of days. Then there's a little bit of a break Thursday into Friday. Friday. So we have a chance of showers or an isolated thunderstorm for Thursday night into Friday is that boundary, little weak boundary. And that's okay on Saturday. And then Sunday, that ridge starts to build back and that heat dome is going to be a hot one next week as well as we start to feel the effects of that mid to late summer type of feeling. So that's going to come over us, especially by the time we get into the middle of next week. So it isn't going to be real pretty. As far as heat index values, is pretty ugly too for the next few days. Even as the boundary is coming through and there will be a few more clouds, isolated shower chance on Thursday, better chance to be late Thursday, Thursday night. We do get knocked down nicely, again, basically for the weekend, uh, but boy, to get there, be ready. It's pretty quiet tonight. There's hardly any air movement. That's making it really stuffy. We have a heat index of 86. The dew point is what we're watching. That's at 76, and we think it's going to stay there pretty much through the next 24 to 48 hours. And our actual temperatures are generally okay, upper 70s, low 80s. Leftovers in the cloud anvil uh, that was left over is going to be gone as of late tonight and tomorrow morning. No precipitation tomorrow morning. We'll be in the low to mid 70s. All the showers and storms are off to the east. Notice how those clouds are still coming from the northwest and moving south east so they're barely going to miss us tomorrow we're going to have one hot day upper 90s to low 100s wednesday same story upper 90s low 100s excessive heat and then a slight chance of isolated thunderstorms for thursday hot humid temperatures in the 90s at least the wind will be blowing a little bit that'll help out and then we knock the temperatures down into the 80s on friday so it's not an extended period of heat wave and i think we're all going to be happy there is a chance of isolated showers and storms again for thursday best chance thursday night into friday so we'll see how that plays out needless to say it's not going to be kind of scattered around the area not a whole lot all right so the forecast is for the winds to at least be blowing so the good news is we should have some winds of about anywhere from 10 to 20 miles per hour. Some gusts could get a little bit higher, uh, especially west of Tulsa. So that's a saving grace if you work outside. If you put up hay and your farmer or rancher, that helps dry that out a lot faster. You might want that to happen before we get into Thursday night, early Friday with that next storm system. But overall, it is just hot. And if you don't have something like an air conditioner fan, watch out. It's going to be rough go here for the next two days.